Talking about converting units uh, might sound a little bit unnecessary to some of you. However, uh, unfortunately, many mistakes are being made with it. Yeah, so that's why it's quite important uh, now uh, for us to have a few minutes together and talk about how we convert units. And I drew, yeah, sort of a number line, and I wrote down millimeter, a centimeter, a meter, and a kilometer. But I could also have written down a milligram, a centigram, a gram, and a kilogram. Because it's important to realize that those words milli, centi, yeah, the, the actual unit and then kilo, yeah, can apply for all sorts of situations. Yeah? If you look at your computer, yeah, you have a kilobyte, yeah? you have a byte, a kilobyte, you can have a, a centibyte and a millibyte, yeah? although it doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah? But after the kilobyte, you would have a megabyte, yeah? so after the kilometer you could have a megameter, for instance, yeah? a kilometer, a kilometer. Anyway, how do we convert? Well, we can go either that direction or this direction. If I go from a small unit to a bigger unit, well, from millimeters to centimeters, I would have to divide by 10. There are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. There are 10 milligrams in a centigram. And if you just take your ruler, uh, this is a very uh, old ruler. If you look at your own ruler, one centimeter, yeah, you can see there are 10 millimeters. Now, if I go from centimeters to meters, I'll have to divide by 100. Yeah? Centi means out of 100. Yeah? A century, if you like, uh, 100 cents in a dollar, 100 centimeters in a meter. You can go on and on and on. And from meters to kilometers, you would have to divide by a thousand. Okay, so divide by 10, divide by 100, divide by 1000. Okay, so if you have five meters, if I stand here on the number line on meters, yeah, how many centimeters would that be? So now I'm going the other way. Well, now I'm going from a big unit to a smaller unit. So five meters, yeah, five times a meter, that's going to be 500 centimeters. Because if I go the other direction, I would have to not divide by 100, but from a big to a small unit, I would times it by 100. If I have one centimeter, how many meter, millimeter is that? Well, that's going to be 10, one times 10. And a kilometer, four kilometer, is or are 4,000 meters. So you times it by 1,000, I should say. Yeah? So divide it by 10, 100, 1,000, times it by 1,000, 100, or 10, okay? Now, this doesn't only apply uh, for lengths, and like I said before, these are also grams, or any situation where you have a milli, a centi, then your actual unit, and then the kilometer, or kilogram, or kilobyte. Now, let's have a look at some example questions in the next video, where we can really test our understanding of this. I'll see you there.